the Lord said to tell you to ask him to reverse the famine and release the rain. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 There is trouble everywhere. There is trouble everywhere. And in the midst of this trouble, this trouble, this trouble, there is famine. Nobody knows about it. Right now, the Lord has revealed a number. 7.9 and that number is depicting an earthquake this earthquake may not be 7.9 but a large earthquake is about to strike in the northern part of South America, Central America, Caribbean area mm. and we must be ready for it a major earthquake is about to strike in this region Central America Hmm. Caribbean, you know, it's almost the same region. Northern part of South America and the southern part of the USA. That region, a major, a major earthquake is about a strike. Don't look at the particular number 7.9. All God wants to make sure that we know it's major. And that's what's going on right now. There's a famine. Things are happening without anybody knowing. There's a famine. When the World Trade Center was bombed, September 11, nobody knows. Indonesia, mega quake, December 24, 2004, nobody knew, knew about it. New Orleans flood, August 29, 2005, nobody knew about it. Haiti, mega quake, January 12, 2010. Nobody knew! Chile, Argentina, mega quake, February 28, 2010. Nobody knew! Japan, 9.0 mega quake, February, uh, March 11, 2011. Nobody! Sandy storm and hurricane and all those meteorological disasters at once in the U.S. East and the Caribbean, etc. October 26, 2000. Nobody knew about it. Boston Marathon bombing. Nobody knew. And so many events. Nobody knows about. God says in Amos chapter 8 and verse 11. It said that there will be what? A famine, a famine says, Behold, the days come, said the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but hearing the words of God. Huh? The inability to hear God's word is a worse disaster than a disaster. Because if you are aware that there is a disaster coming, hallelujah, you will try to, you know, go to a safe place or do something, amen, for safety and to, to save as much as you can save. Say amen, somebody. Amen. There is a famine. The famine is bad. The famine is bad. The famine is bad. Glory to God. There is a famine for the word of God. Yeah. And there is trouble in the land. There is trouble in the land. Jesus, calamity everywhere. Luke 21 verse 10. Then said he unto me, nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. Verse 11. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places and famines and pestilences and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven right now. Russia invade Ukraine in 24 hours. If it was the USA, USA, it would take 24 months to go through Congress and go through Parliament and go through this and go through that before we invade. But in 24 hours, Russia shut the world and invade Ukraine. 
Nation against nation. Kingdom against kingdom. Nobody knew. Nobody believed that Russia would invade Ukraine. The president of the US, while he was warning, they were already there. Hmm. Famine! Famine! And in the midst of this famine, glory to God, there is apathy. Isaiah 30 verse 10, he says, those which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Speak unto us smooth things. Prophesy deceits in the midst of calamity, in the midst of disaster, in the midst of death <laughs> and distress. Prophesy smooth things, apathy, apathy, apathy. Then there is anarchy. Ezekiel 7.26 Mischief shall come upon mischief and rumor shall be upon rumor. Then shall they seek a vision of the prophet. Lift up your hand. Visionaries. Come on somebody. Those who are seeking to break this famine. Hallelujah. Those who are seeking for a change on the planet. Hallelujah. Those who are seeking for revival, lift your hand, visionaries of God and prophets of God. He says, mischief shall be upon mischief. Then they shall seek a vision of the prophet, but the law shall perish. No vision, no revelation, no prediction, no prophecy when there is a need. But the law shall perish from the priests and counsel from the ancients. Wise counsel from the older men, older women will be absent, absent in the midst of calamity. Church, we have never seen such so much earthquake on the earth in all history. We have never seen so many tornadoes. 2013 was the record year for volcanic eruption. Why the last year? God said in the midst of this, there is no voice. There is no voice. Jesus. But in the midst of it, instead of the leaders seeking God, they seek to persecute God people. It says in Luke 12, Luke 21 verse 12, brother. But before all these, they shall lay hands, lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my sake. Somebody said reverse the famine law. Somebody said, reverse the famine, Lord, and release the rain. So they reverse the famine, Lord, and release the rain. We're not going to be long, but I'm telling you something. God has all of this in his hand. Say amen. Yeah. Yeah. Say amen. Somebody said, reverse the famine, release the rain. Reverse the famine, release the rain. You see, first of all, the famine comes from God. God says, you're going to appreciate my voice. Come on, somebody. The famine in the midst of the need, my God, of the voice of God, comes from God. God put away his word in the midst of the greatest need. Hallelujah. 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 Behold, the days come, said the Lord, that I will send a famine. You hear what I said? So if you're a child of God, don't worry. Because the famine came from God. Say amen, somebody. Say amen, somebody. Folks hear about outpouring in the last days. They don't understand. This famine is the first outpouring. Hallelujah. It's an outpouring of a lack of God's word. An absence of God's word. It's an outpouring from God 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But Joel 22 and verse 28 said God pours out the rain. He says in the last days I'll pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. It comes from the Lord. And your sons and daughters would prophesy. Someone say, Lord, reverse the famine. Release the rain. Lord, reverse the famine. Release the rain. Remember that they had to assemble in the upper room. They did not just sit down and say, God, is your time. It's, it's your thing. It's your plan. You ought to do it. No, even though God had predicted it from the Old Testament, they had to meet in the upper room and say, God, fill us with power. You are the sender. Lord, we know we got the famine, but Lord, we need a rain. And God answered that request. Somebody stand up on your feet right now. Glory to God. And just begin to talk to the Lord. Just, just begin to pray to the Lord. And say, Lord, reverse the famine. Reverse the famine for the word of God. Reverse the lack of hearing. Reverse this famine. Go ahead for a few seconds. Glory to God. Say, Lord, reverse the famine. 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 Sit down for a moment. Sit down for a moment. God says in Job 24, 1, God said, okay, here's my answer. Why seem times are not hidden from the Almighty? That's me, said God. Do they that know him not see his days? Somebody shout, Lord. Reverse the famine. And here's the answer to the Lord. Write this verse down. Isaiah 29, verse 10. God said, there's a deep sleep upon the church. But don't worry. It's God send it. Jesus. I, said God, have sent a deep sleep. All of these things are in my plan. The famine is in my plan. You're going to desire my food. You're going to take it for granted. A deep sleep is in my plan. You're going to take it for granted. But God said, if you'll wake up, you'll experience the rain. Come on, somebody. Someone say, Lord, reverse the famine and release the rain. Lord, reverse the famine and release the rain. Matthew 13, verse 13, God says, Therefore speak I to them in parables. Because they seen, see not. I am releasing. I am speaking. <laughs> but when I speak, I speak in parables. Because they seen, see not. And hearing, they hear not. Watch this now. Neither do they understand. The Lord revealed us this week. I should have known it before. You probably know it already. Amen that the spirit of prophecy is the last language. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. Check it out, check it out. This is the last language of the planet. God is more than a revelation from God. It's a language you got to learn. Hallelujah. 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 You don't have to say amen. Just, you know, just, just, just don't give any trouble. Come on, somebody. Yeah? Glory to God. Hallelujah. God said, I have in my hand the final language, the revelation language, the prophecy language. Hallelujah. No, he didn't know it. Only my people know it. Come on, somebody. No nominal Christian know it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. No form of godliness. Christian will know it. It's a language. It's a revelation language. Hallelujah. This language will just be among those who want the rain. God is more than hearing just said the Lord. It's more than getting a dream and a vision. I'm going to teach you Hallelujah. to know, to understand. Hallelujah. What's happening? 
Someone say reverse. reverse. The famine. famine. And release the rain. He said, <laughs> hallelujah, in Matthew 13, 17, he said, for verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see these things which ye see. Lift up your hand and give God praise. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Someone say, Lord, reverse the famine. Someone say, Lord, reverse the famine. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Many prophets and righteous men are desired to see those things which you see and have, and have not seen them. And to hear those things which you hear and have not heard them. We say, Lord, reverse the famine. Get ready, body of Christ. Get ready. God is about to reverse the famine in your life. He's about to release the rain. He's about to break that famine for hearing God's word. But it's personal. It's in your life. Glory to God. Let me give you one more verse. Then we're going to pray. Proverbs 26 and verse 9. He says, as a fawn goeth into the hands of a drunkard, so is a parable in the mouth of fools. So is a prophecy in the mouth of who don't believe in God. That's all it means. It will be a thorn. Stand up, church. Someone say, reverse the famine, Lord. But then God reverses famine. And when God releases rain, it will be like a thorn thorn in the side of the heathen. It will be like a thorn among those who hate God. Because if they acknowledge God's word, then they have to acknowledge God. Jesus says in John 13, 19, Behold, I tell you these things before. Hmm. That when they come to pass, they will know that I am he. Say amen, somebody. Amen. I'm going to ask us for a few more seconds, maybe about 30 seconds. Just talk to the Lord and ask the Lord, reverse the famine from my life. Reverse it from my life. Reverse the famine for the word of God and release the rain upon me. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. In the meantime, just do some repenting at the same time. Just do some repenting at the same time. Yes, just just ask God to wash you and to cleanse you, and then then go into Lord, 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 Lord. Reverse the famine. The famine came from you, Lord. The word said that you would send the famine. Lord, reverse the famine. I don't want to be in the famine. I don't want to be in the famine, Lord. I want to hear your voice. I want the final language. I want the understanding. I, I want to know your words, Lord. I want to go beyond my secular language. I want to hear your voice. We need to hear from you. We need a word from you. If we don't hear from you, Lord, what will we do? Glory to God. Reverse the famine. Somebody cry out like the upper room. Somebody cry out. Take a few more seconds. Cry out like the upper room. And say, Lord, reverse that famine in my life. And release the rain. You said in the last days, you would pour out of your spirit. Release your rain on my life, Lord. I'm going to invite every person here today who not yet filled with the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues. If you will come, you're going to receive the Holy Ghost right now. With the evidence of speaking in tongues and prophesying. That's the first thing we're going to do right now. As a matter of fact, let me back up. I'm going to invite any person here not yet saved. Not yet saved. 
not yet saved I'm going to invite you if you're here when you're not saved if you will lift your hands and say preacher pray with me I want to be saved I want Christ in my heart you are here and you're not yet saved and you want to be saved will you lift your right hand say preacher pray for me you're here when you're not yet saved but you want Christ in your heart will you say preacher pray with me by, by lifting your hand Jesus Jesus you want to be saved it won't be long a short prayer and you'll be saved you are here and you're not saved. You're watching and you're not saved. Come to Jesus right now. Come. Huh. Glory to God. Come to Jesus right now. Well, let's move on from there. Every person in this room who are not yet baptized with the Holy Ghost, with the evidence of speaking in tongues, and speaking something different from what you know, I'm going to invite you to come. God will fill you be the Holy Ghost. God is going to visit you. Hallelujah. Because we reverse the famine. The, the famine is over. The famine is over. The famine is over. Glory to God. And God release the rain. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Don't be afraid to come. You will need this rain. You will need this rain. Don't be like the many nominal believers who don't care about it. Many of them are going to bow. Many of them are going to deny Christ when persecution comes because they are nominal. They are not in the spirit. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Lord, reverse the famine and release the rain upon these saints here today. In the name of Jesus. 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 Somebody shout reverse the famine. Somebody shout reverse the famine. One more time reverse the famine. Release the rain. Release the rain. Come on, come on. Say the Lord release the rain. Say the Lord release the rain. Lord release the rain. Lord release the rain Lord release the rain in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus those of you are at the altar right now glory to God hallelujah hallelujah we're going to lay hands upon you in a moment just stay in the spirit